Hey, my beautiful soul tribe. Thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot. It's your girl, Chianti, and I'm going to go ahead and give us the collective reading. Again, the collective reading is for all of us, all signs, no matter where you are in the zodiac. It's for all of us. It's yours, mine, and ours, okay? It is a general read, so everything I say won't resonate for you. You have to use your discernment and know where to put yourself in the scenario. Sometimes the scenario could be happening directly to you. Other times it'll be someone in your vicinity, okay? You just have to know where to put things and some things won't be for you at all keep what resonates for you and release what doesn't if i do get it right for you my beautiful soul tribe please take care of your girl with the like comment subscribe and the share and if you're interested in booking me for a private reading my email information is provided in the description box below along with the link to my etsy shop where i offer ten dollar personalized messages via etsy the turnaround time for those leads is typically about three days all right okay all right, Soul Tribe, I don't know whose business I'm going to tell. I honestly don't, but what I do know is I am definitely going to tell someone's business, okay? And these reads typically turn out to be pretty spot on. I've been getting it on the head lately, okay? I tend to read for the future, so keep that in mind. Some of you, this may have already happened, but for most of you, this is future energy, okay? Current and future. What's like happening now is going to lead up to what I'm getting ready to tell you, okay? All right, Spirit. Let me know what's going on with my soul tribe spirit. Make it plain for me. What's going on with us, spirit? <laughs> Tell me what us has going on right now, spirit. Child services, wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay. Period. Whenever I see a child card, it does not necessarily mean CPS for me. It just tells me that this is a situation where this is either dealing with children, someone you've known since childhood, this could be dealing with someone that you have children with, or you're basically dealing with an immature childlike person, okay? This is what this is going to be about, collective. And then I have the wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? So for some of you, it could di directly be dealing with someone who's immature and a wolf in sheep's clothing. This could be dealing with the mother and the mother or father of your child, a wolf in sheep's clothing. And then I see, I have something dealing with children. Okay, baby, here I come, okay? Oh. Okay, here I come. See there? <laughs> he does not want cereal, but I digress, okay? However this is going, let's see what else is going on with us. Let's just get into it. Again, you could be dealing with someone that's immature here or dealing with children. Known since childhood. You just have to know what you know, right? Ghosting. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Mm. Okay, so... Listen, there could be an energy for some of you. There could be something going on online. Somebody could be getting ready to ghost or block someone online. Someone could you, Some of you could have a ghost follower here. I have the cyber bully. This is definitely the energy to me. Just someone being stressed out, sitting at a computer here about something here. Some of you could definitely be, it could definitely be an energy like your child's mother or father was supposed to do something with the kids and they ghosted, right? But then you look online and you see something else, right? Something like that. It could be that for somebody doesn't have to be for everybody. Some of you, you have someone, it's a six of cups energy, someone watching you online as a ghost, like a ghost watcher, a ghost follower. This could be someone who ghosted in the past or something like that. Or someone's going to get blocked for immature behavior. Give me one more for my soul tribe. Give me one more for my soul tribe. Give me one more for this for my collective. Oh my God, my house is being noisy. Dust it off. This has been coming out a lot lately. Dust it off threatening okay <laughs> i'm laughing because uh, the baby is a virgo and this is a virgo card for me so he's definitely on one and my cards are talking about it <laughs> but for others of you <laughs> for others of you this is what i'm seeing dust it off is simply the energy and it's been coming out a lot in the reads lately for some reason like picking yourself up and dusting yourself off and moving forward right there could be an energy of someone feeling threatened by that, right? Someone could be feeling really threatened by someone deciding to withdraw from some childish games, some petty stuff, or definitely a a, chi a a six of cups, a soulmate from the past. Some of you literally have someone, a soulmate, who is feeling very threatened about someone ghosting, withdrawing their energy, and dusting themselves off and trying again here. 
For some of you, you may have a ghost from the past returning, right? This could be a ghost returning, I got to tell you. Let's see what else we got here for my soul tribe. There could be a ghost from the past getting ready to return for sure. Okay? Give me some for this child services energy. Ascension. Spiritual path. Awakening. Magnet. For some of you, this is definitely a soulmate. This is definitely about a soulmate because the magnet is the lovers for me. And ascension, this could definitely be dealing with someone that you have a deep spirit. Some of you, either you're raising children by this person. You've known this person since childhood because I see, I see the progression here. Or you're rising above an immature person. You're, you're, you're making someone grow up. Like you're, you're maturing someone. You want someone to mature or something like that, right? Because for some of you, it's, it's simply, it's not about children, because I can hear y'all yelling, key, it's not about children, but it could be about a childish person, right? If children are not involved with this, this is trying to get somebody who's acting childish. Listen, I don't want to say trying to get. It feels like forcing someone to grow the F up, right? And this could be definitely making someone could definitely be feeling threatened. You could also be in an energy where you're like someone could be rising above this and someone could be threatened by this, right? But they're going to either rise above and get up to it or they're going to get left behind because I'm going to, I, I can withdraw and dust myself off and try again. This is the energy I'm getting, soul tribe. Put yourself where you are, where you go in it. But here's the magnet, lover's energy. This is a soulmate. This is definitely about a soulmate. This is somebody who was magnetically drawn to someone. Unexplainable pull, can't resist, feeling very threatened here. But I feel like there's a clear choice. You could either rise above or I will draw and go on about my business or some shit. Put this where this goes, so I'll try it. Give me one for ghosted. Give me one on the ghosted energy for the collective anxiety, scared, panic. Someone could be definitely having a fear that someone's going to leave, right? They're going to be gone forever. Family. See, this is some. This is, if again, if children aren't involved, there could be like deep family ties. You could have known someone since childhood. Someone could have deep strength, family, strong bond connections. Where this is someone that's literally like, if this is just love, I don't know. There's a bit like, I don't know. You got, it could be someone that was, you were like destined to be family and have this bond with, right? Because I do feel like there's a deep bond. It's, it feels so strong. And it's like, if you, you guys... If you don't have children together, it's like this person will probably more than likely be in your family in some sort of way because there's there's family and children. But I do feel like this has a lot to do with love and there's a, there's a panic behind ghosting, right? Maybe you're afraid because someone used to ghost in the past or something like that. But I feel like someone is is having this anxiety and this panic because they're bothered, they're feeling threatened that they'll be ghosted if they don't rise to the occasion. Yes, this is what this feels like. Rising to the occasion. Yes. This is what this feels like. It feels like this is what's being put out there, what's on the table, and there's there's panic about it. But look, there's this deep connection. So let's see what this dusted off energy is about. Because this is dusting yourself off and trying again. And I feel like this is the energy that's out there. Ooh-wee. Financial support, children, alimony, government, roller coaster, high is high. Look, wish. Hoping, praying, yearning. I feel like there's an energy here with dusted off and financial support and roller coaster. Someone is definitely in that energy where there's an energy of picking yourself up again, dusting yourself, trying, trying again. Definitely could be in an energy where focusing on finances, right? Focusing on finances. It feels like someone definitely in the energy of um. I feel like it's the energy. I don't. I feel like there's been an emotional roller coaster in this situation. Highs and highs, lows and lows. There could definitely be something dealing with like children and finances and child support and things like that with you, with some of you. That's exactly what it's dealing with, right? I see it, right? Again, you have to put it where it goes because for some of you, and not everyone has children, but some of you do, and I could see it being something dealing with someone that you have children with and family with, right? But I do feel like there's an energy sitting here where, like, if you don't rise to the occasion, if you don't, like, I do feel like someone feels threatened because I feel like it's on the table and I feel like that it's well aware that if someone doesn't mature or rise to the occasion, that there's an ascension. Someone else is, uh, is, on, a, is on a path, right? They will rise above it. Someone could know that they're going to be ghosted, that they'll be, they're scared, they're panicked, that someone is going to leave them for, quit. Quit fooling with them for good, dust themselves off, and try something else and get off of the emotional roller coaster, right? All right, Soul Tribe, I'm going to um, pull a couple of oracles for these, and then we're going to clarify with some tarot. 
okay? Guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if it's resonating. And email me if you're interested in booking. What do we have under the deck here? Solidarity, withdrawn, lonesome, single. There could be a Sagittarius or a Virgo involved in this because this is a Virgo card. This is a Sagittarius card for me. We'll put it where it goes. Let's see. For child services, better off, happiness, perspective, clear head space. See, listen, I feel like someone here is ascending. Someone is ascending. They're on a spiritual path. They are awakening, right? And they are, they have a new perspective on things. They have a clear hair space. I feel like someone knows the path to happiness, right? Someone is telling me like, I'm on this path. I'm going to be better off regardless, right? And it could be someone being threatened because it's like, if someone doesn't get their shit together, if someone doesn't, grow, I do feel like for some of you, if it's not children involved, it's an immature energy. They're feeling threatened because they could wear false masks. But I feel like seeing is, I feel like that energy it's holding a grudge. They're feeling threatened because someone is realizing like that they can be happy. Their perspective has changed. They have a clear headspace dealing with someone here. And I feel like someone feels threatened by that. They do. And children could be involved in this or you're just dealing with an immature person. Let's see what goes in. Look, hoping is here twice. And you're definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. But this is hoping, waiting, expecting, manifesting. Someone is afraid. Hoping, praying, yearning. I do feel like locked down. I feel I, I do feel like they're hoping, praying that someone isn't going to go ghost on them, right? They're gonna they're not gonna disappear, right? I do feel like someone for some of you, someone is returning, but I do feel like this could have been someone who did the, like who did the ghosting, right? That was in and out, right? I don't know. Some of you, this is someone that you've been knowing a long time, but they they do ghosting, right? I feel like at one point in time you could have been really hoping and wishing and yearning to have something with this person, but now you may have dusted yourself off, got your shit together, and you may not be so sure that you want any part of the emotional roller coaster. Put it where it goes, right? What's on there? Second chance, making amends, opportunity plans. Yeah, there's someone that wants a second chance here. I'm telling you, I've never saw this card before. They want a second chance here. I'm going to write second chance down because it's clear. And I felt that. I felt that. I feel like someone is feeling very threatened and intimidating because someone is awakened. Someone is on a spiritual path. They have the, they have a new perspective. They have a clear head space. They know. I don't even feel like better. I don't want to even say they feel like they're better off without this person. They know they're going to be better off in general because they do have this new perspective. Because they are ascending. Because they are on a spiritual path. Someone knows that they're going to be better off, period. But I do feel like someone else is threatened by this. And it's because that energy wants a second chance. This You could definitely be dealing with the Virgo. But someone is some, someone has sat back and thought about some shit. I feel like now they're hoping. Yeah, they're hoping and praying for a second chance. They're hoping and praying that they can dust this off and try again. Or you haven't completely dust them off and move on. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get some clarification for this for y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's get some tarot on it. Let's see what these tarot cards say about it. Mm hmm. Let's see. I do feel like for whoever this is resonating with, someone here is on a spiritual path. They are awakening. They do. They see the light at the end of the tunnel. Their perspective has changed. They have a clear head space. They know that they're going to be happy. Right. This could definitely be like, I know me and my kids are going to be OK or I, or period. I know I know this person is immature and I'm better off without them. Right. I do feel like someone feels threatened and intimidated by that. Give me some for this energy for my uh, soul tribe. The star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. And the two of wands came out, a plan, a plot, and a strategy. Yes, that feels like that's, that ascension, though. There's a queen of swords. Some of you are definitely Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, y'all in the building. This feels like that ascension. This is when the stars are aligning, right? Someone is headed. The, where, the, the direction someone is headed here in the star, they're going to have wish fulfillment. The stars are going to align for them. Someone knows this because they're awake. They have a very clear headspace. The queen of swords, someone's definitely making head over heart decisions, right? This is not being emotional and flying around all willy-nilly. This is being analytical and knowing what you want. Yes, I do see that. Now, someone could definitely hope like hell that they could reunite with this person. The star could definitely be someone who also likes a lot of attention. Put that where that goes. Some of you a child star. If some of you have a child that's like a star or something, some of you may have a child star. I don't know why I'm getting that. 
the literal stars we're dealing with here too. Just see that too. So put it where it goes, okay? Let's see what the ghosting energy is about. There is someone, they could have high anxiety. They could be afraid. I feel like someone is scared as hell that someone's going to dust them off and leave them for good, right? They're hoping and wishing and praying for another chance though. I do have Virgo and Sagittarius energy here heavily along with air. Give me some for this energy for my soul tribe. The ghosting. Someone is hoping like hell that they're not going to be left behind. Yes. Someone doesn't want to be left behind. Look, four of wands. Let me write that down. Yes. Someone doesn't want to be left behind, soul tribe. This is what it's giving me. Four of wands. A union. A partnership. Will of fortune. Like as things change, I told you. And then there's the emperor. Who's behind him? The queen of pentacles. Ooh, we. Give me one more for this. I'm telling you, someone is hoping that they're not going to be left behind. They're hoping and wishing and praying for a union or a partnership. They could be feeling very threatened. Look, Ten of Swords left behind. What I'm telling you. I don't know. I do feel like there's been some sort of battle between two people here. If this is about love. There's been one hell of a battle here. There could have been some in and out energy. I don't know. I just feel like battle. And somebody is definitely ascending now. They're, coming, they're becoming clear-headed about being happy about the future. They have a really good perspective about what they want and what they want to go about going to get it, right? I feel like it's making the other person feel very threatened because they are worried with the Ten of Swords that this may be it for them, right? They're going to be left behind. Mm -hmm. And under here is the Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, someone has high anxiety behind this. Give, give, me, one off, give me one for dust it off. Financial support. It's going to have to be, like I said, this could be dealing with child alimony government money i don't feel like that i just feel like there's an energy of moving forward and, and like f worrying about finances and taking care of business instead of some sort of emotional roller coaster here someone could be worried that someone is doing that this person could be definitely solitary they've sat back and thought about it they're, they've been withdrawn they lump they're lonely they're hoping for a second chance with someone here Someone's getting uh, some for some of you. Someone's gonna offer you something like, listen, with dust it off. Some of you, someone's gonna come towards you like nothing happened between you and them. They're gonna offer you something in terms of finances for a second chance. They're gonna come in like, they're gonna come in like dust it off like nothing happened because they're hoping for another chance here with you. Give me one for dust it off a second chance for my soul tribe. The Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Someone is wishing, this is what they want, Page of Wands. There's a communication. Someone is hoping for another chance here. Now, this person could have been smug in the past and liked to play a lot of games, too. I don't know why I'm getting at this. Could have been somebody who was smug, who played a lot of games. Someone could definitely be coming in in this lighthearted energy, reaching out. Like I said, like nothing happened, but they want a second chance. They want to make amends. They want another opportunity. They're planning this. Give me one more for the second chance here. Could be dealing with a water sign, an air sign, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles could be an earth sign. Nine of Swords. Someone has, someone wants a second chance. I do feel like the Nine of Swords, the stress and this anxiety is coming in in terms of loyalty, faithfulty, faithfulness, trustworthiness, right? I feel like there's an anxiety because there could have been a lack of this in the past, right? The nine of the knight of pentacles is something that you someone something or someone that you could have a long-term situation with where there's trustworthiness of, of reliability. There's an agreement, you know what I'm saying? To grow some shit slowly but surely. And I feel like with the nine of swords, there's high anxiety about that. Yeah, but ace of wands, there's someone coming in. Someone is coming in for a second chance here. I do see it. Yeah, and I definitely feel like at some point in time, someone walked away. You could have had to walk away from this person to make them rise to the occasion or make them grow the F up here. But I see that. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Again, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in booking me, email me. I appreciate all your continued support. You guys are dope. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. I will be going live later. Bye, my beautiful soul tribe.